Hey guys, and welcome to this video on big O and limits. So here we want to prove that n squared is big O of n to the power of six using limits. And in the green rectangle here, I have the limit asymptotic theorem that we're gonna use to prove this. All right, now this theorem states that if we have uh, the limit as n approaches infinity of some function that we call f of n, divided by another function that we call g of n, and it equals some limit that we're gonna call L, then we can check one of three cases. And the first case um, is a check to see if L is equal to zero. If it is, then our function f of n belongs to big O of g of n. Now, if our limit L is equal to c, where c is some constant value that's greater than zero, then our function f of n belongs to big theta of g of n. And if our limit L equals infinity, then our function f of n belongs to big omega of g of n. So let's go ahead and get started by first identifying our function f of n and then identifying our function g of n. All right, so f of n is equal to n squared and our g of n is equal to n to the power of six. Okay, so let's go ahead and use our theorem. So we have the limit as n approaches infinity of f of n divided by g of n. Now this is equal to the limit as n approaches infinity of n squared divided by n to the power of six because f of n is n squared and g of n is n to the power of six. Now this can be reduced to the limit as n approaches infinity of, um, let's see here, we can do n uh, divided by n to the fifth or we can do, uh, well, we'll just do that for now. And this can be reduced even further. So we take the limit as n approaches infinity of one over n to the power of four. All right, just, just to show you guys um, how I was able to uh, simplify that n squared divided by n to the power of six, okay? Now this, of course, is equal to zero and zero is our limit L, okay? So now we go and check the three cases and we see uh, the first case states that if L equals zero, then our function F of N belongs to big O of G of N. So I'm gonna put uh, below here by case one or the first case, um, f of n belongs to big O of g of n, which implies, and I use that arrow for imply, that n squared belongs to big O of n to the power of six. All right, and that's our answer. Okay, so thank you guys. I hope um, you enjoyed this video. Please leave any questions you have in the comment section below. Uh, please leave likes and don't forget to uh, hit that subscribe button. And if you found this video helpful, please share it. Um, I have links to other videos as well. Uh, links on algorithm analysis, big O notation, um, on binary trees, uh, data structures, discrete math, etc. Many, many different computer science topics. So be sure to check those out. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.